Yo, what's going on, y'all? Back with another video. Today, I did pick up some wheels. I'm not gonna lie to you. You probably know about the title, but I did pick up some wheels for the Camaro. I've been wanting these wheels for a while now, and I've almost copped these wheels repeatedly, but they always sell, like they sell so quickly. And when I seen them, they was posted only for like 20 minutes or something. Hit them up, picked them up. But uh, I'm not gonna make this intro long at all. So we're gonna go ahead and get into the video. So these is the wheels right here. The tires are actually pretty still good on these t these uh, wheels too. Still pretty good. These ones right here is kind of little out. These is 275s I believe for the rear. And these are, I can't remember which was what size these ones was but i think they're like 245 or something like that but these are going on the the mirror like i said i'm gonna take these out so you guys can see a better look at it as well and uh i'm gonna put these things on right now too let me go ahead and take these things out and i'm gonna just time last me taking them out and then i'm gonna show you guys how they look all together outside and show you guys what size these is so i can see it too So the rears is 275, 4017s. These fronts are 245, 45, 17. Let me make sure the other one is the same size too. This is a rear one. This is a, wait a second. Wait a second. That's a different size. 27540. This is a two. <laughs> this is a 27540 as well. These are all rear tires right here. Yeah. I didn't notice that. I told you these was a little bit too meaty for it. That one right there is a front though. That's a front, but those three, those those too much, that's too much meat for the expectations. I'm a meat market. This is a this is a front. These these are both fronts, but this is for that sure. one look more like a front than this one. This is a front. These are all the same size, bro. Huh? But this is a front right here. No, that's two forty five. No, this is a two seventy five. Oh, so those three is two seventy five. This the these, front. Yeah, that's the front one. But this is a front too because the the lip. I can tell by the lip. That's a that's more deep dish right there. That's the 11 and a half. These are the 11 and a halfs right here with 11s. This is an 11 and this is an 11. This is a 9 because you can tell that the lip isn't that big. This one is completely bigger than this. 100%. Well, this is the same exact one, but this lip, look how big this lip is compared to this one. It's hella bigger. So I know these two right here. This one and that one is the rears. So this one gonna have to get taken, taken off. Damn, I didn't even notice that. I kind of noticed that they were kind of big. All of them was big until I seen that one. But I don't know. That's crazy. I didn't even notice that. I don't even know if I'm being a put. I'm not putting the fronts on, man. I just put the rears on for now. I'm probably going to get a used tire tomorrow for the front. But I'm going to throw these rear ones on first. These are actually pretty clean, though. I like them. I was trying to get these at first. This is what the these are the type of wheels that the dude had on the mirror at first when I first was going to get it. But he took them off. And they weren't this clean either. But these are 17s. All these are 17s. But the rears are 17 by 11. And these are 17 by nine and a half. So, yeah, let me go ahead and put the rears on them.
so I did put the other front one on and I did put the rears on, but this front one is the one that got the 275 on it. I don't know who put a 275 on that front. I don't know if uh, that's even good to like run on a Camaro. I ain't never put like a big wheel. The biggest wheel I put on like a muscle car in the front is probably like 255s, but 275s, I don't know. I feel like your turn radius would be like crazy. And I don't want my fronts to stick out hella much either. Like I'd rather have like smaller, just meaty tires in the front, like uh, some nettles or something. And like, uh, the big tire in the rear so i did take these off and the only one that's still left on is the right front one just because you know like i said this one was a 275 and the other one was a 240 or 245 so i don't want to throw off like the balance of the car i don't want one of them being hella wide and the other one not so keeping this one off until i get the other one i mean i tell you i've replaced this tire probably just sell this tire or something i am selling these uh, i got all four uh, if anybody that wants these things, you know, you can just hit me up on Instagram and I sell them for cheap. I don't really need any, I don't really need that much from this. Just want to get them out of my garage. As you can see, I already got hella tires in here. Hella tires. So I need to get these things going. I need to put that on. But I did put the other ones on and I'm going to show you guys how the car looks right now. But the car is very dirty. I don't want to wash it because every time I wash it, bro, the neighbors that the car is kind of parked on like a they like side side yard, like to where the main street is, and all they got right there is like dead grass and like rocks. And every time I wash my car, the people that cut their grass always, at the next day after I wash it, they come and cut their grass, bro, and it gets all over my car. Right after I wash the car, bro. Comment down below if you ever, ever had that happen to you. You fresh wash your car, and then it just get dirty the very next day from something like that. Let me know in the comments if you ever had that happen. But I'm gonna show you guys how it look right now. And I think tomorrow, I am gonna be getting the little roof piece wrapped. I'm gonna show you guys that too. I think I'm gonna be getting that wrapped tomorrow by my boy. The next thing I'm gonna have to do is get lowering springs because the car sits very high off these wheels. And I'm gonna show y'all that right now. I really need those lowering springs, but let me go ahead and show y'all. This is how they look. Bruh. This is my whole fist in there and I'm still not touching that. That's crazy. I can put all my fingers in there. That sound crazy, but y'all know what I mean. But these rims are pretty clean though. Got a little bit of curb rash, but I mean, it's pretty cool. I like how they black with the chrome as well. It's nice. Pretty sure somebody did that. I don't even think these come like this, but maybe, I don't know. But they clean though to me, at least to me, just for now. I'm not, these are not gonna be the forever wheels for this car, but these are gonna be like the main wheels that's just chilling on the car. Look at all these spider webs already, bro. Already. Like I said, uh, this side doesn't have the wheel, just that back one right there. These wheels look pretty clean on here, bro. I like it. I'm still in search for them T-top covers. Still haven't got none. And I think soon the car might get painted. Soon. I'm not saying like today or tomorrow type soon, but just soon. Trust me, soon. But I like the wheels though. I really do like them. Look really nice on the car. The wheel gap is throwing me off though. Which I know y'all see how dirty the car is too, like with the sun look horrible but the car looks nice i like how the wheels look on the car i really need to lower the car though i swear to god the car needs to be lower but these wheels are way better than the ones i had on there pretty sure those wheels were v6 stocks can't remember but just need to get that tire for the other one and i should be straight 
lower the car, get that front grill. This grill look better without the license plate, not gonna lie. And yeah, that's pretty much it though. Uh, I like how the wheels kind of make, I mean, the wheels kind of stick out on the rear. Hold on, let me show you guys so you guys can see. Kind of stick out in the rear. I like that. Still need to go a little wider, you know, 315s like I did on the SN95. Cause, uh, boy, it got a grip. I tried to race one of my partners with those other wheels, those other wheels I just took off. And I floored the car and that shit literally just kicked out, bro. The rear end just kicked out and I was spinning. I was like, okay. I mean, I knew I wasn't gonna win a race anyways. He got an AMG and yeah, he pushed it around like five, almost 500. So <clears throat> it wouldn't have been a race. I'm glad I got these wheels though. I tried to get these wheels multiple times already from a couple of people, just like this too, black with the, the chrome lip. And then they end up selling them right when I'm about to try to buy them. This is like the fourth set that I try to buy and I actually finally got it. Pretty sure I was the first person to actually hit the guy up. I'm glad I got them all. And I feel like I should just get the 315s for these like ASAP. And I do need to get this trunk thing settled, bro. I still can't open my trunk. That's one thing I need to fix as well. And I need to fix this too. Just because I don't know if you guys can see from this angle, but you guys can see the glue. Well, not the glue, but the, the 3M tape. And you can see it's not all the way flush with the car. It's literally just sitting on there with the 3M. Kind of hanging on a thread, basically. But, uh... Yeah, it's kind of going to do it for the video. Like I said, the next video would have been like what I want to do with this car, but something came about. Like I said, something probably would. So this is the video of me getting some wheels for this car. And that's pretty much going to do it for the video. So if you guys haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace.